Have you have you seen those people um, out there, Harry, aggressively defending the stance that no human evidence that PUFA seed oils contribute to bad outcomes, but only animal models? Oh, look, I haven't. A lot. I've I've heard of certain people in blogs and stuff like that, but you know, there's there's good mechanistic studies that were done back in the eighties. I've I've seen some stuff eighty three, eighty four that actually produce. Um, uh, you know, in terms of ox LDL and how it was actually, um, yeah, how it actually produced. It's a video that I, in a future video, when I do cardiovascular, I'll cover that um, at that time. So I'm still doing a couple of other videos. I'll get to that as well and do my my thing. Um, the other thing is we know I've done a, a number of videos on the poofer, you know, animal poofers. Remember the, all the videos that I've done? If you do poofer, Harry Sopanos, you'll find all those videos. And I actually show the aldehydes, the primary and secondary oxidative products of seed oils is way up here, where with animal poofer, you just get trace amounts from when you cook them. And olive oil is slightly higher, and then the seed oils are just massive. Well, what are they? What, what are these idiots think that the actual seed oils are doing? They're contributing massively to oxidative stress. Massively, aldehydes rip lipid membranes. That means the membranes of cells can be damaged from aldehydes. And these are astronomically high in aldehydes. So what are they talking about? They're actually, they're just ignorant little boy kids that need to be spanked um, for their idiocy, basically. They've got no idea. The literature is quite clear. Lipid peroxidation and aldehyde levels in these oils is astronomical and severely damaging to the body it's a toxin and then if you add the the deuterium side oh man where do we fin finish you know 255 parts per million that's nearly double that of sugar which is 155 and 130 is a safe zone where olive oil is anything below all the animal fats are below that so all the all the water that actually is produced from animal fats bacon being the lowest pork actually your you know producing water that is very low and very high, very low in deuterium, very high in hydrogen. That is basically, those hydrogen ions are basically don't have any neutrons. And those neutrons, the less you have of those, the less damaging you're going to do to your mitochondria, the longer you're going to live on this planet. You know, the only stuff that is that is in that low range is basically green vegetables but they don't have any nutrition but a lot of anti-nutrients but the water of that you can actually use because it's low deuterium like the tribal people use they put it in ostrich eggs and stuff like that and emu eggs and then um uh, you know the other stuff is the fat um uh, which is low deuterium of animals you know now nuts and seeds and stuff like that which have got a lot of anti-nutrients their fat also is low deuterium but they do have high anti-nutrients and not a good so the best fat is animal fats for that reason yep so yeah yeah seeing the mechanistic rodent studies don't matter if no human outcome statistics support it for seed oils they're also short-term studies the short-term studies and i can tell you um seed oils at short-term studies stuff like that they won't show much they, they, because they don't engage the Randall cycle. So if you're not, if you're just giving seed oils and you're not engaging the Randall cycle, you're not going to see a lot of oxidative stress. But what you will see is you'll see this low level of damage and mitochondrial damage, and you'll only see it after a very long time. They only do it for a short amount of time, and they say, "Oh, we don't see much." Yeah, because this is happening the ox the damage that is happening to the lipids and incorporating into the lipid membranes happens very very slowly yeah they cite epidemiology because it's garbage it's associational garbage and there's a lot of healthy user bias somebody on a sad diet because they, what they're comparing is a vegetarian with a sad diet person now the vegetarians can, can going to consume less seed oils they're going to consume maybe some seed oil um here or there they're not going to have a lot of refined stuff, which is heavy in seed oils. So, and they'll have some other plants and all that, which are lower in seed oils. You know, basically, you know, they're not processed foods. 
in many cases. So because of healthy user bias and other things that these people do, take antioxidants and all that compared to a sad dieter, they reduce the damaging effects. And so it looks better on epidemiology. But it really, it it's so confounded, it doesn't really tell you about all these healthy user bias of that person that mitigates to some extent that that poo, that oxidated poofer. The oxidated poofer does the same damage in the sad dieter as it does in the vegetarian. The difference is that vegetarian is mitigating it to some extent. It's like if I want to do a cheat and go out and eat, um, you know, some foods like potatoes, fried potatoes in seed oils and all that. And then I basically take a low dose jarro vitamin E. I take an astaxanthin that refreshes those fatty acids. You don't get rid of the deuterium. I can still do damage to the mitochondria in terms of deuterium, but I can eliminate a lot of the oxidation because um, astaxanthin is a major, major electron donor. So it can actually give all those, do um, those electrons back and stabilize that PUFA from being from causing oxidation and being reactive in the tissue. So you're not getting this oxidative stress type thing, but you still get, it still has high deuterium. So when it gets oxidized through the mitochondria, it's still going to actually add a lot of uh, um, deuterium into the pool of the metabolic water, and that is going to cause slowness if it's a small amount into um, of the actual mitochondria or massive amount of damage to the electron chain, which will render some of those electron chains nullified. And the more of those folds, you know, all those folds where you've got electron chains on both sides, more of those get damaged. In the end, you'll have less capacity to generate energy over time and you'll become a decrepit old person. Anyway, 